All right, guys, I think I just hit 30,000 subscribers, so thank you. Apologies for the wind noise. I'm out here in the field and was not planning on making this video. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of the improvised field comm series, but then we're going to talk about the 30,000 subscriber giveaway, so stick around. Uh, but right now, I am preparing for my next video, and uh, what I'm trying to do is figure out how to tune a barbed wire fence so we can improvise something in the field. And to do that, I have my... Nano VNA, and I want to work the 40 meter band, specifically 7.1 uh, megahertz, so that I can work digital. And as you can see here on the meter, I have a 1.4 to 1 match, so pretty good, almost a uh, 47 ohm impedance, so my radio will be happy. Uh, this is part of the reason why I actually uh, believe in real field gear. The Nano VNA is taking a beating. And uh, to tune this, I'm actually using the MFJ QRP pocket tuner and using some of the gear from our previous videos, the Cobra head with binding post. Uh, I've also created for myself a dope card. This is the uh, second experiment that I've run. I did one at the home earlier, but uh, I basically marked the location in UTM. Uh, the frequency is 7.100, the expected SWR of 1.4 to 1, and then the capacity capacitance for the um, the antenna at zero, the capacitance for the transmitter at seven, and the inductance as I. So this will give me a pretty cool way to do this. Now I created a uh, small uh, ring terminal here with a six foot patch lead using 20 gauge silicon stranded wire, and I've connected it with an alligator clip to the fence. And what I've done here is removed a little bit of the oxidation with a little bit of sandpaper that's in my kit. So big thanks to Mike, Kilo Charlie 8, Oscar Whiskey Lima for this tip. And then I have going off of the uh, ground terminal a 33 foot uh, counterpoise wire that's snaking all the way around. And uh, without that counterpoise, the SWR actually is about uh, 20 to one. So we absolutely need that. So we're gonna, in the next video, not this one, in part two, uh, after we do all of the uh, giveaways for 30k, again, thank you, uh, we're going to try to come back to this location, set up a radio, tune it back up using the dope card, and then there's a station about 50 to 60 miles northwest of me that we hit last time, and I want to do a windlink session. And this area is cool. I'm out here in the Tonto National Forest, and I was looking for a barbed wire fence that uh, did not have any metallic surfaces. So this is actually wood. And I believe this whole structure was uh, deployed here by Jedediah Klein. Uh, the whole area here is called Jedediah Klein Creek. And I believe he was homesteading in maybe the 1920s, 1930s. Feel free to correct me. But he's got this, I'm going to try not to fall here, structure here that most people don't know about. It's about a five foot deep structure and goes out about 20 feet. And then there's a small retaining wall. So I don't know if this was a house a pool for water. If you guys know more, let me know. But anyways, guys, I didn't have a whole lot of time, so I'm filming this on my phone. So apologies and big thanks for you guys for 30K. We're gonna go back in the shack and we're gonna talk about a 30K subscriber giveaway. Again, like, comment, share, do all that stuff. Love you guys, see you in a bit. All right, good morning, guys. Thanks for helping me get to uh, 30,000 subscribers. I appreciate every one of you, especially the guys on Buy Me A Coffee. Now, before we get into the giveaway, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the uh, manual tuner that I use for the preparation of this next video. Now, I've always been a sucker for resonant antennas that are tuned for the frequency you want to work and that don't require either a manual tuner or an automatic tuner. Now, I went with a manual tuner in this case because it gives me the ability to understand a little bit more about what's going under the hood. There's a quite a bit more involved, such as understanding capacitance and inductance. Those are two things I'm not gonna get into just yet because I'm still very much ramping up on that myself. But I do like the idea of how I'm going about this where I'm trying to use my SWR analyzer, my Nano VNA, to help me tune the SWR, make sure I have a good match with my radio, and then capture those metrics. So I'll share those details in a much later video once I get more experience with the tuner. The other thing I wanna mention is that tuners don't actually tune your antenna. What they do is present a good match to your uh, radio. And what you basically do is connect your antenna system to one side and the other end to your radio. And you try to present 
to your radio a 50 ohm impedance. So a lot of technical details there, but the point is I'm gonna see if you can tune up that barbed wire fence in the next video, just using these two pieces of cable. Should be fun. So with that said, let's get into the thank yous again. I've been doing this now for about three years. I'm trying to do this full time. Even if my video quality is terrible, I do appreciate you guys sticking around. So I have established a, a membership set of tiers on Buy Me A Coffee because I'm trying to do this full time. Started that in January. So I'm gonna do three giveaways. Uh, the first is for all of the members, regardless if you are a gold member, a um, yeah, gold member, silver member, or the, the basic member. And what I wanna share with you guys is I have been selling the small matches, the TTP Man Pack bag. Uh, this one works with the Yesu 817, the FTM 6000, the 8800, 8900, and it's a bag that I've been developing for the last uh, couple of years, or actually 18 months. And um, I'm gonna give one of these away uh, to the members and we'll pick that person next week. Now, for those of you who have actually liked this bag, I have also gone down the route and I finally have a much larger prototype. This is called the Big Brother or the Big Daddy, haven't decided yet. And it's basically the same design. It has the admin pouch on the front. It's got the clips to get into the radio. Uh, the antenna ports in the back have changed a little bit. These are actually flat. And then Molly webbing. This one has a couple of extra pieces of molly strip here or one inch strips to allow you to attach other gear and it's essentially the same thing. So this one's probably going to be at about the $295 or $300 price point and then the smaller bag is $265. Now I'm still working on small batch quantities of these so uh, they're not really publicly available yet. So next week I'm going to pick one person from the Buy Me Coffee members and it'll be their choice to either get the smaller original TTP man pack or the larger one. And the timing for that's probably gonna be about four to six weeks because I still have to test the larger pack and I'm in the process of producing another small batch of the uh, smaller man pack bags. For the Buy Me A Coffee one-time supporters, what I wanna offer you guys is a free 50 minute session, one-on-one -on -one with me where we can talk about whatever you want, any questions you have that I'm able to answer, and uh, should be fun. That's a perk that I give to uh, the gold members once a month to do those one-on-ones. Now for everybody else, uh, also wanna thank you. Could not be here without you. I'm trying to set up a small store and I have a bunch of different mugs. I've got a no random contacts mugs, an MCOM tools mug for my software project, and then just poking fun, a get your ass in the field mug. So if you want one of these, um, and this applies to anybody, go ahead and put a hashtag 30k, hashtag 30k, and I will randomly pick uh, a winner for the mug. So next week we'll finish out the uh, experiment of tuning up that barbed wire fence out in the field. We're gonna try to make a 50 mile contact to that wind link station, and then we'll announce um, all three winners. All right guys, thanks a lot. I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. That's it.